to Switzerland now, where same-sex couples can now tie the knot. The first weddings took place on Friday, legalised after Swiss voters approved the expansion of marriage rights in a referendum last year. Switzerland is one of the last countries in Western Europe to recognise same-sex marriages. Here come the brides. Law and Alina are among the first of many same-sex couples tying the knot after Switzerland became one of the last Western European countries to make it legal. I'm really happy with this day, happy that everyone can finally get married and happy to be able to share this time with you. The Swiss government's 2020 plans to introduce marriage for all were challenged by opponents, which triggered a referendum last September. But nearly two-thirds of voters supported the move, paving the way for marriage equality to become enshrined in law. For us, this is a strong symbol to be able to mark this day, to have this visibility and for marriage to become normal for same-sex couples. But the change is more than just symbolism. The right to marry has also opened the door to legal rights that were previously out of reach for LGBTQ couples. First, there is the access to joint adoption, whereas before, one person in the couple had to have a child previously, from abroad or from a previous marriage, and the other partner could adopt the child. Also very important for lesbian couples is the access to sperm donations, which wasn't possible for same-sex couples. Also, getting citizenship will be easier, so this is also very important. Hand in hand, and side by side, thousands of same-sex couples around the country can finally say I do, a dream that took decades to become reality. Oh.